All right, so in this video, we'll be looking at Sketch Practice 2, part number one. Um, it's gonna be done in a number of ways. We do have some radiuses involved, All right? So I'm gonna start by creating these two circles. It's got a radius of 0.1, radius of 0.1. So we've got Inventor opened up, I click New, Part, Inches, hit Create. I'm gonna start a new sketch, again, this plane right here. Um, I do have a circle. This circle, when you right click, it says radius. So I want a radius of one. Right? I also want another one on my left hand side along that same plane. Again, it's already on radius. So radius of one. If I look at my, my blueprint here, the distance from that circle to the this line here is 2.5. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by drawing a box. This box is gonna go from here, across lining up to that other circle, right? I said this distance here needs to be 2.5, 2.5, right? The width of my box here is gonna be five inches. Right, you'll notice that this circle did not match up, so all I have to do is click this center point and drag it to that end. Now I've got all black lines, that's what I want. I go back on my part, from here up, it goes, or from that quadrant, that right side of the circle, it goes up, over, down, over, up, over, down to that quadrant. Right? So what I'm gonna do is use my line tool from this quadrant, this point here, going up, and it comes across, down a little ways, crossed, up. I'm all free drawing this. Notice that it's giving me that quadrant on the other side. Right. Okay. Now I'll come back with my dimension tool and I'll put in dimensions I missed. So from my left side to this edge is 1.5. Dimension, left side to this edge is my 1.5. I noted that it's the same thing on my left, right side here. 1.5. All right, let's look at a few more dimensions. Um, from the bottom to the top is four inches. Bottom to top, four inches. This little step here is 0 0.5. This line here, 0 0.5. Uh, I believe this is still purple because it also wants a four on the right hand side. As soon as we step down, it broke that line. Um, and so I'm gonna put a dimension from here to here four as well, and from here to here, 0.5 as well. All right, so that's my basic shape. I can use my trim tool and trim out the remaining portion of this circle, as well as this circle. All right, now let's look at this bottom shape here. I've got two radiuses, again, 0.5 each of them. So I'm gonna do a circle it's still on radius, you'll notice my line is not going all the way across, so 0.5. I'm going to line these two up, 0.5. I'm going to draw a line that goes from this top quadrant to this top quadrant, this bottom quadrant to this bottom quadrant. Now I'm going to enter the numbers, so from the bottom to that center is one inch on both of them. So I click dimension, bottom. Apologize. Bottom to center, one inch. Bottom to center, one inch. From my left side to my center is 1.5. Left side to center, 1.5. And you'll notice that became black now. And from center to center is two inches. So center to center two inches. I'm not going to worry that these are purple right now uh, because I do have all my numbers accounted for. 
I am going to trim out this line and this. All right, so there's my object. Again, not worrying that these are purple. I'm going to hit finish sketch. Click extrude. Um, because I left this line in the middle here from my original box, it's going to separate my shape. So I'm just going to be sure that I have both of them selected. And my extrusion for this one, all right, this is the front, this is the back, so my extrusion is 1.25. 1.25, okay. And there is Sketch Practice 2, part number one. Thank you.